Ice cream lover Steve Christensen's my name, uh, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School on another field trip. And wouldn't you know the crazy world of ice cream that we live? Uh, I was going to stop in here, not far from the office, and show Madeline this new little gelato store that opened up, Trey Curry. I've, I know that, uh, look, I took about three weeks of Italian um, in school, so my pronunciation isn't very good. Trecori. Hey, we do want to thank our episode sponsor, Turnkey Parlor. Neil Williams, the whole crew of Turnkey Parlor, huge range of used equipment, new equipment, a fantastic website. The link is down below, freezerplanet.com, turnkeyparlor.com. Have a click, get lost in the vortex of the equipment world. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll never guess what we just stumbled across. Uh, this gelato place opened up, Ellisville, Missouri, just down the road here. And I thought I'd bring Madeline in for a bit of a taste test. Lo and behold, they're cutting the ribbon today. I know we've done a uh, session about the Chamber of Commerce, um, but this is some of the things that the Chamber of Commerce can do for you. I think we should uh, chit chat to a member of the Chamber of Commerce. Nora and the entire Chamber of Commerce is here to do a ribbon cutting. So uh, thank you for allowing us You're to welcome. crash the ribbon cutting. Now, interestingly, I kind of got confused because the Chamber, there are multiple Chambers of Commerce in this area. Right. And I was talking to, is it the opposition? Uh, do the different Chambers of Commerce kind of vie for uh, businesses to join them? Well, so it's just kind of a common understanding that you're the West County Chamber, you're the Chesterfield Chamber, you're the Creekport Chamber, and then those are your kind of your boundaries. Right. And then if anybody outside the boundaries reach out to you, then it's fair game. So <laughs> then good. we changed our name uh, right at the beginning of the pandemic. We didn't know, but we changed our name to the Chesterfield Regional Chamber because the big St. Louis Chamber um, rolled all up into something else. Right. And we were the largest chamber in St. Louis County, so we wanted to reach out more, so we changed to the Chesterfield Regional Chamber, and, and we keep growing. So. Nice. so it's not unusual if someone kind of typed in Chamber of Commerce, there, there might be some options Absolutely. around. Give us the top three reasons why a small business like an ice cream shop, yogurt shop, should join their local Chamber of Commerce. Okay, so if it's a small shop, so 66% of our businesses are small businesses that want to grow and grow locally. So right. we do a lot of B2C and then um, B2B and then networking and idea building on how to make your, your shop work. So, right. and then we have 420 events, programs, things wow. a year. And that's the ones that I can count, not counting the ribbon cuttings. So, <laughs> right. so yeah, so that's, that's why. Are those events typically your joining fee? So it's it's a couple hundred dollars generally for right. a, for a, a year, um, and then are those events then free for members to kind of go to, or are there some trainings and other events that you need to pay for on top of that? So we have of the core like monthly meetings. If you're on a committee, we are, they're all working committees, and we don't charge you to be on a committee. Right. We have a first Thursday coffee each month, and whoever hosts it pays $50 for all the advertising and then whatever oh. that breakfast is. But we have once a month, we have a first Thursday coffee and then networking. And, and that's a different people's businesses. Right, so that oh, way nice. they need to go around and see. And then our general membership meeting is once a month and that's larger and it's $25 so you cover the lunch. Right. And then there's a women, CCW, which is a Chesterfield Chamber Women meeting once a month and that's $15 just to cover the lunch, but yep. it's networking. And then there's the business after hours each month and that changes locations and it's five to seven and and it, the host pays $50 and then has the... Right. The, the so really, it's like anything. If, you were to, if I were to join the Chamber of Commerce, I'm, I'm really getting out of it what I put in. The meetings right. I go to, the networking that I do, uh, that's awesome. And what percent of your time is ribbon cutting? Because that's pretty cool to come right. to a place like this yeah. 
help someone start off their business and see them at the beginning of their business journey, how many ribbon cuttings do you do? I would say, I mean, it just depends on how many. Some, some people, they're new to the chamber, but they're not new opening, but they want to do another grand opening or they want to have another ribbon cutting. And we're like, absolutely. You, you come up with a reason, we'll show up with a ribbon. So, <laughs> so we do, I would say, probably about 40 a year. Wow. You know, it just depends. And I think now, after the pandemic, people are wanting to gather again. And like you were saying, you get out what you put into it. So when everybody comes and does new member orientation, I always tell them, like, you can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. So I can't help you if you aren't showing up to things. I, can I only love try. that. You can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. Well, Nora, we're going to actually put a link to the uh, Chesterfield Regional Chamber down below. Okay. A lot of our viewers are all over the country, all over the world, but it might give them an opportunity to look at kind of what it's like. We encourage people to talk to their local chamber. We do want to thank our episode sponsor, Turnkey Parlor, who wish they could have been here at the ribbon cutting, but unfortunately couldn't make it. And uh, as we always wind up our videos, keep, keep on, on scooping. scooping. <laughs>